well guys and today is a big unboxing an unboxing I should say the last unboxing not really the last but an important one because inside here in this box of goodies I hope I have the last two curves and the one straight I need and also some other goodies so let's show you what I have in here today just came by courier about one hour ago. So let's see what goodies we have in here. Mm -hmm. Tea. You need tea always. Okay. This box comes from Denny in Slocker Union. Truly recommended Slocker Union. Online, based in France, perfect for Europe. Very good delivery service. They use DPD here in Latvia. Every box has come like this, perfect condition. No damage, nothing, absolutely 100% perfect condition. Very reliable, good service. So the couriers are good, shop is brilliant. If he says he has it, he has it. If it's in stock, it's in stock. He's never failed me once. So, totally recommend it. Stock card union. There will be some sort of Haribo, I expect, in here. The last ones he sent me were little black ones. They're like licorice with stuff inside. They were amazing. I haven't had those ones before. Maybe I'll get those ones again today. Let's see. He changes all the time. Paper. You even get paper for lighting your fire. What more can I say? It's amazing. Squidgy stuff. For making noise. Excellent. Okay, oh, different ones today. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> Croco, Haribo Croco. <laughs> I haven't had a taste of those before. I love licorice, I like them black ones. At least you need to send me down black ones the next time. Here we go, let me show you this. Let me just around, show you this guys. Slot Care Union. Okay. Slot Care Union. Slot Care Union. Dot com. Okay. Our website. Easy to find. Okay, some sweets. Lovely. Now, first piece of track. One straight. One straight that I needed. Now, I've been building the track buying boxes of straights, uh, bu buying sets, which contain seven straights and a power unit. I've been doing that to build the track. So that's, um, but this time I, I miscalculated. I needed one straight. We got that one straight. Now, let me show you this. Two. Now if this is wrong, it's my fault. I'm sure I ordered the right ones. I'm gonna put the camera down a bit and we're gonna have a look. I'm just gonna put these two together loosely. Okay. And we're gonna put this down on the track and let's see if I now have a complete track. And you're going to join me as I do this. There's my missing corner. Okay. Did Harry order the right piece? Yes, Harry ordered the right piece. There we go. That will be the completion of the track. I now will have four lane track. How amazing is that? Okay, let's get this back around here, guys. Fantastic. And that was the most important part of this box, was getting those two pieces of track. But you know, I decided to get some more stuff. I decided to go a bit mad. Only a little bit. I'm already halfway there. So I decided to get a barrier set. Okay. That's the barrier set. Now that is a how long is it? Let me see. It's uh of course I'm not glasses on. So I can't read the thing. Where's my glasses? Come on Harry. Hold on a second I get my glasses. 
I don't want to drag this out too much for you guys. It's still exciting. I have more goodies in that box to show you. Ach, dumm. No, we don't read German. Sorry. No German, no German. Three meters. So that's, that is three meters. Okay, guys. Three meters of lovely barriers and track. Well, the reason I've done this was there's certain pieces I wanted to get just done and I want to get it done right. You know, it's a four lane track. It's, it's, it's a big track. It'll be, the cars will be going fast up the top hill here. And I want some proper barriers. Behind these barriers, I will also put some foam along the wall for protection. And usually, that will be the top corner. This will be the straight. So I'll also put some barriers on that side over there. These, and I have some net barriers I'm making at the moment. Myself from readily available building stuff. Two bags of them. So that's, that's like, I can put these on the infield. You know, I can put something this corner here is a little bit tight, so I'll put something on the corner here. Oh, okay, that's done. Now, and I got some borders, some track borders. I usually cut my own from laminate wood, which I will be doing. I have some laminate flooring here, laminate flooring, eight millimeter, which will be cut for the straights. And I used to, I cut them in the, in the in, indoor track in the house, I cut that laminate flooring and made all the bends and everything. But on this track, again, I want this to look good. I want this to attract people, you know? I want it to look very, very neat, and very classy. So I've got some inner borders, okay? And inner borders and some outer borders, which I, I need some outer borders for, um, you know, places like um, this bend here. Um, some on the other, on the infield, on the infield here, under the box here. There's a corner I need some borders for. But here's what else I got. Now I got one of these because I have one already. Let me show you. I got one of these scale electrics cheap trucks. Okay, very very good price on those. Now, okay, they don't have driving figures. You know, they don't have windows, they don't have, but these are great fun. They really are great fun. I have one of these I bought already, and the reason I bought it was for the indoor track, just to see if the truck would fit underneath the bridge, under the overpass, and it, I designed the overpass for the trucks. In this track, there's no overpass, so any truck will do. But these are great fun. They run very nicely. Leave the magnet in them. They slide out just enough with the magnet fitted. And they're great fun. And there's just something about trucks. I drove a truck for like 18 years. So um, there's something about trucks for me that just are great. Now, yes, the fly trucks, I've had them in the past and um, I might get a few fly trucks. But at the moment, I wanted to get a couple of these so we can race together. Anybody who visits next week. But here's something else, this is the last thing. Something else I wanted to try, guys. I wanted to try some smaller cars. We might get some young people. We might get some young people coming to the track and they might want to try and race. And they might even want to bring a car. And, um, you know, in, in this part of last year, people don't have much money to be spending on hobbies. So uh, I don't even know if you can see me there, guys. Let me see, use my hand. Yeah, I think you can see me. Maybe I'm out of focus, maybe I'm not. Let's turn around a little bit. So, I want to get something that kids could use that's really cheap. And it's a 140 touring car. Okay, and when I say kids, I don't mean kids. I mean uh, amateurs, beginners, people who can't afford to be buying the more expensive 130 second scale. Then again, with the poly car, cars at 28 euro each, you really can't go wrong, can you? For a high quality doing a review of some of them I'll be doing a review of one of them soon but I got this I got this career go car okay I got this one and this is literally just a test car to see how the 140 third scale go on my track I, I'm not really into the smaller scales they go too quick for me I prefer something a bit bigger and easier to slide out in the corners and take the magnets out and all but I can't really pass solid opinion because I've never tried HO and I've never tried 143rd scale. It's the first time I've ever tried a 143rd scale car. 
Because being young in Ireland, it was scale electrics. We all had scale electrics. And um, they're 132nd scale. So this is my first time to try smaller scale. So my idea was Formula One cars. Uh, if I could get four 140 third scale Formula One cars, there'd be plenty of room on the track for the tires, not to be tipping each other and throwing the cars off. And um, I just thought, maybe. Because the very reason for I think this car is on special offer with the uh, slot car unit at the moment. I think it was 13 euro, maybe 14 euro, it's a special offer. So I said, come on, just to try it. It's it, like, come on, that, that's the price of a packet of cigarettes in, in many countries, you know. That's one day smoking for those who smoke, I don't smoke. That's, <laughs> that's, but um, I'm gonna give that a run around track. So there you go, that's, that's it, that's my post, my quick unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. So thank you for watching once again, Harry's Adventures in Latvia land at the, uh, the Borderland Raceway. Yeah, the Borderlands Raceway. Okay, ciao folks, until the next time. Thanks for watching. Appreciate any likes, subscribes, comments, anything, all the best.